video I'm going to unpack my orc army that's been in storage for about five years. My name's Corey, this is my son Brent. I'm thinking about getting back into 40k and want to see if he would like it too. I collected orcs for about four years and I uh, need to open the boxes and see where we're at now. Alright, let's get started with the first box. Data sheets for the Planet Strike book, older Codex Blood Angels. Imperial Armor. That was a printout of the Volume 8 Raid on Castoral Novem. A couple white dwarfs. 40 case or uh, Warhammer skirmish. I collected a Warhammer army at some point. I don't have it anymore. Oh, the Space Hulk mission book. I also collected Blood Angels. Battle missions. The old Apocalypse book. Oh, I can see some of these boxes are damaged. few more books down the side here. The old rule book. An older Blood Angel Codex, I think. This is actually the uh, Once Upon a Time in the White Dwarf. They posted a movie Space Marine list. This is actually the data sheets for the older way to play the movie Marines. Alright. I just dropped a box of models. But that's okay. We'll right. sort it out. This, if I remember correctly, is my biker army. What's this? Like this was the uh, conversion I made out of a Skaven Doom Wheel to make a knob biker. Like a giant wheel. Yeah. This was my Wazdaka conversion that I made. I'll take closer ups. He's actually riding a land speeder. Some of the knob bikers with forge world parts. Alright, grab them out of there and put them in these piles of the same color. What do you think? We're looking pretty good for not too damaged so far. Here's uh, Zardsnark the Ripper. He's a Forge World character. I also got Ludas in this box. Let's put the Ludas over here. And we got Bikers. This was my Biker Army. I had a lot of Bikers. Let's see, there's this is one of the only armies I actually colored them all differently. Most of my armies colored the same. This one here is the uh, Super Cyborg model. An older orc model again. And uh, some of these are the Cyborgs that I converted into uh, to have the Daka guns, I believe they're called. Another Cyborg. So the blue ones were all older bikes, the old style bikes, and the cyborgs. They're, uh, the blue ones are death skulls. The Bad Moon Squad. Here's another, uh, this is an even older bike. Oh, this Luda is broken. Me too, yeah. They're actually uh, looking a little better than I thought, although I'm a little upset that they're, some of them are broken. It's not that much. 
box number one I found a tank buster a mech we got some death skulls uh, older bikes super cyborg is the knob the older different bikes in the back there's Zard Snark uh, these are orc biker knobs uh, with a pain boy here in the front with this little uh, helper grot I can't remember what he's called grot orderly I believe and then we have this is my Wazdaka conversion so he's riding in a it's actually a land speeder uh, this is a different orc uh, that was the doom wheel and he's one of the knobs I have a whole bunch of Ludas here this Ludas are always awesome uh, we have the biker squad here that is bad moons this is my normal paint scheme they're not goths I just didn't like uh, the checker pattern I... and these are the broken bits that I have found from the first box a few of them aren't too bad he's just off his base Ludus fell apart one fell apart All right, deeper inside this box is the one I just dropped. This looks like a whole lot of boys. All right. These are power claw knobs. You can put them out there if you want, but we got Mad Doc Rotsnick. Shoot a boys. Have the two-handed gun and slugga boys have a pistol and a uh, chopper. So yeah, we'll put slugga boys over here. This guy, I actually made some commandos too. And then there's grots. So put shooter boys over here and slugga boys over there. Grots in the middle. This is guy is a root herder. This guy lost an arm. Yeah, okay, well. He'll go in our new broken pile for this box. Kratz. Sluggers. Slugger shooter. There's a sh Alright, out of the second box I ended up with seven commandos. Uh forty-seven slugger boys. We have some knobs that are, uh, these are the broken ones that need to be put together, including this was uh, Grimgore Ironhide, uh, Black Orc, I believe. We have Mad Doc Grotsnick, my conversion of Gazgull, the Assault on Black Reach Warboss, some knobs, a uh, small unit of Grots. I believe there's ten there. Five, ten, yep. And a root herd. And I believe it was 41 shooter boys that we counted. The third box in this says Death Copters on it. I think it'll be Death Copters. That is a box of Death Copters. Let's Jeff Cup and some sprue. Alright, so in that box I found four assembled Def Copters, one missing parts. This is four Def Copters here, two more there, two and a half there, another one here, to arms and propellers, some of the other, that's an arm. And then uh, some deaf cop to pieces that have been cut up. The last box inside of here. Let's open this up and see what's in here. Oh, okay. This is a DACA jet that I had made. This was my orc uh, Burnabama that he's used in Apocalypse. There's orcs throwing stuff out the back. 
out the sides. The other stuff we have in here are battle wagons. This is a battle wagon I made. There is supposed to be a grot feeding squig juice into the back of that, but I don't see them in here. The, I put magnets in them so they would hold, apparently. Uh, the big shooters or rockets, whatever I wanted to use. The second battle wagon. Uh, third battle wagon. Here's the grotto oiler. And he would have been sitting there feeding the squig juice in. Another big shooter. Found some heads, maybe some guys are headless in here. And this was a conversion I made. It was a Eldar something. Uh, and its wheels fell off. So it would sit in the back. It was a looted wagon. So that's the third box. Alright, that was the whole first box. On to the next one. All right, this is the second box. Let's see what we have in here. Looks like we have a poster. A box that is sealed shut. This says Luda's Ardboys and Dogs on it. We have sprues. These sprues are Blood Angel sprues. The sealed box here, we have paint. It is dollar store paint. Last thing in here is a bits box. Here's some posters that I had, they're laminated. This is uh, a very nice one of the Stampa and the inside workings. There's this one here, the uh, mech boss. This is the back side of the mech boss poster. And we can now peek into the bits box. This is a Space Marine bits box. There's a few Tyranids in there. None of this uh, stuff that I painted. I believe this is Calgar here. The older version of Calgar. What's in the bottom here? This is an, an old Predator with the other pieces. Sponsons. Can in there. We're going to move on to another box. Third box of stuff. This is a bunch of stuff. Bits and bobs that I wanted to make conversions with. Make an orc sub maybe. What else we got in here? These are the food stealers from the food stealers from the Space Hulk set. Another Plutonian box. Oh this was a display board I made for a kill team and it was actually made using one of those bobble games the battery does not work but the board would spin slowly around so that the kill team would uh, spin while it was displayed last thing in this box it's all taped up it's giving me a uh, facing material. Moving on to another box. We have some scenery pieces. All right, I'm going to grab out the next box here. I'll grab the whole box down, I guess. Starting with the shoe box here, we have an old orc 
Def Dread. Pretty sure it's still legal to use as long as you base it. This was a battle wagon that I made. It's a little bit long. I'm gonna have to fix it up. There's a guy driving. As you can see, it was a tad bit longer than the other battle wagons. Or maybe I should cut the middle out there a bit and make it a bit shorter. And this. These were some kilocons that I had made for a mini wargaming competition that was on an online forum a long time ago. There's a third one. That's what he looks like now. Apparently he's lost his base. So these were totally converted out of paint pots. These are paint pot kilocons. Not too happy with them actually. But they look like they have some good bits that I can and this is an actual Def Dread that's missing two arms. There it is. Here's my other Def Dread. No, this is a Kilocon, sorry. Con. I have a con. Con. Another con. Some old trucks that I got from somebody that I did not paint. Various stages of repair is needed. Some of my def rollers I will need to fix because I always love a good def roller. You can see all the kilocon arms and such in there. They're all going to go into the repair pile. Open the next box here. This was a box and I started uh, converting things. As you can see, he is an orc but he has a uh, Blood Angel chain sword and shoulder guards and a helmet. I've even magnetized him on the back. These were test models I was making at one point. So he has a bolter, or sorry, a bolt pistol with a uh, chain sword choppa. Again, he has shoulder pads Right, the next thing in this box we have sprues, boys. They're all boy sprues. Love it. So there's our stack of boys, command sprues. And a few of them are missing a few parts, but not very many are. This is what I actually use to paint out of. So I usually put the different models. Uh, this one is actually just Blood Angel bits. Astronauts. Next box in here. There's more sprues. Sprues of bikers. In this box. is my Blood Angel, these are the Space Hulk Terminators never got painted never finished the Bane Blade next box here this is a battle wagon kit a brand new battle wagon kit unopened and that one's open, maybe. And it looks like there is a truck kit underneath. And another truck kit underneath that. Really interested to see what's in this one, because it says biker bits on it. That is not biker bits. 
Give us some more pork salt on black reach boys. In this box, we have ah my storm boys. In that box, I found my conversions of uh, the black orcs from fantasy. They were my hard boys. A few of them are missing heads, and these were the storm boys. I put them all on the flying stands, and. Uh, Leave some of them some conversions. I believe this is supposed to be uh, oh right here. He's a deaf cop the conversion one. Have another deaf cop to conversion. I magnetized the propellers that way. I wouldn't have to worry about snapping them off when I carried them. He's falling off his rocket, but he's holding on. At least he might get there. He's actually got no rocket, but he's being carried by two uh, Gretchen who do. He's actually uh, sitting on his rocket instead. And this one is actually uh, two grots. This one says vehicle bits. And that's what it looks like it is. Part of a truck. Looks like there's this is an old uh, war buggy sprue, I believe. This box is knobs and stuff. Let's check this out. Hmm. What do we have in here? This, as you can see, is the Fort World Grot Bot. It's actually called the Runt Bot because here's another one. The same model. And we have some works and blisters. It's Captain Badruck in metal. And we have work flash kit with targeting squig. And the golf rockers. Oh, here's another one. The Golden Demon Games Day model. 2007. Still sealed in the package. This is, uh, looks like Warzog, the weird boy. I believe he's from Fantasy. We got some knobs. These are knob bits. Knobs, leftovers from the uh, Black Orcs. And these are all knob sprues. All right, this box says burners, and oh, it is burners, some burner boys. Been along nicely through these boxes. This box looks like it's all scenery stuff. Well, there is actually. Skeleton, Vampire Counts, Fantasy Army Guild, 
Slab Ben Karsten. And Skeleton Warriors. And in this bag is uh, Fantasy Orcs. The old Fantasy Orcs. Alright, we're going to go on to the Bits box here. The last one was Blood Angels, so this one should be Orcs. Stomp of Hearts. I believe that is a shock attack. No, that is not a shock attack then. It's an old tractor can or a smasher gun. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look that one up. One of my favorite models from Gorka Morka, the Red Gobble himself. Lots of bits and bobs, parts of trucks, part of the stampa, truck bits. Let's open it up. Not as much in here. Some silicon bits, some burners, some flags, bases. And we have a lot of. Uh, Threads, the old orcs, the old orc drivers who will not be used by me. Some more boys. We have stacks of transfers. Rot Mancha. This actually a soundtrack t-shirt and if it still works it would be amazing there's the rams for the deck for the bottle wagons stomp a bit brings me to the next box it was a heavy box I needed two hands to move it over This is my paint set. I'm going to have to go through all the paints and make sure that they're good or not and the place who isn't. Next in here, we have the Space Hulk set. This box. Bits. These were the fla flame effects. Small module flash from Armorcast. That you can see on some of the models. And flamethrower gouts. Fire. And again, you see the even the rear of the Storm Boys all have flame effects coming out of their rockets. Alright, we'll move on to another box. Storm Raven box. And that's what it is. It is a Storm Raven. With two predator, bale predators. And the Daka Jet box next. Or a Bomber, or bomber box. Ah, two trucks. One truck. Now with rocket launches, they're magnetized, so could have been a shooter, a big shooter. Another truck here. This one was built standard. And this one I added some upgrades, closed in the engine. And the third 
truck that has an exposed engine, a closed in cab, and a flat deck. I found a shooter boy in there. And we have mega knobs. And going through that box, I found nine of the uh, metal mega knobs. These were mega knobs I converted out of uh, Space Marine Terminators. I found a knob missing an arm. Uh, there is a pain boy there. Slugger boy. Three cannons, conversions, and a bunch more shooter boys, some missing heads. Alright, the next box we got in here. These are all blood angels. The next box in here seems pretty heavy. And that is orcs. I emptied that box out and I found these are uh, commandos with boss snickrot. They are the metal ones, even the commando with the burner. I found my shock attack gun and my other shock attack gun. We have a big mech with a custom force field. Uh, this was my old Zogwart. With the snakes on there that gave him extra attacks. He'll probably just be a weird boy now. This was the other Big Mac that I had made. He had a Berna. He would often ride with my Bernas, giving the custom force field which fell off his back. Protection. We have Zag's truck. We have a unit of Grotz. There's some tank busters here. A squad of knobs. Oh, he fell over up front here. He is the storm boy knob. And I found a few more shooter boys. A Luda. My squad of Burnas. They used to be one of my favorites. They would ride around in the battle wagon and would just erase units. This was a def copter that I used. It used to be pretty good with kill saws going in for turn one assaults. And these are all my shooter boys. They're big shooter boys. Well, what was left over in the box are just broken bits. Some conversions of storm boys I never finished. He was going to be riding a surfboard. Another one on a surfboard. He has some old harpy wings. Those are some Mega Knob guns. Some more Metal Burna Boys. Another Death Gun. Orc Shaman. The guys off of bases, missing arms. On to another big box here, a box of boxes. Have the old Blood Bowl set. Make sure it's in there. It is the old Blood Bowl set. These big boxes. This is random orc bits. These are all slugger, choppers, ammo. Casings. Bodies. Heads. Which means this one should be a knobs. Knob weapons. Knob heads. Knob bodies. Boss bowls. More knob bodies. Salt on black reach knobs. Next box out, and it is what I thought it was Blood Angels. Deeper down into the box, we found the Orc Codex, Wild Gas Gull, and the Imperial Armor Volume 8. Another bits box. This one has got all kinds of stuff in it. 
Some more grots. More broken boys. That was a knob actually. Some more metal boys. Commando. Commando with a big shooter. And that looks like the commando knob. We have lots of bits. Oh, the Orc Pulsa Rocket. This used to be an amazing thing in uh, Apocalypse games. Lots of custom Mega Blasters. Some random Orc bits. There's another old Shock Attack gun. At one point I was going to make a Shock Attack battery. There's Grimgore Ironhide from Fantasy. Another Assault on Black Reach War Boss. A orc drummer to go with the uh, golf rockers that I had earlier. Oh. And to the next bits box underneath. This one has grots. Half painted grots. Oh, the orc squadron commander. I was thinking about. You could be a good weird boy. Different looking model. Give him a use. More brats underneath him. More parts. Some old knobs or orcs that I have never used, never painted. More bits from biker bits. These are a crap load of snotlings. Another metal orc mega knob. Another pain boy. And there's just a few more boxes to go. Not sure what's in this one. It's a tournament that I won back in 2012. This was from another tournament that I won. It had a golden marine on it at some point. Kill Team Tournament. Oh, no, it had a golden skull on it. Oh, sorry. That was from this, I believe. Best overall at this tournament that I entered. And there's the Golden Marine. These are some other bits and bobs that I was planned on using at some point for conversions. Another box here. And this is drop pods. And this was my tournament display board. That was made for me by a friend. I'm gonna clean it up. I'll probably use it again. Now on to the last and final box. If you've been paying attention, you probably know what's in here already. This box, I'm not sure which way to open it. We'll try from this way. Alright, here we have the Stompas. Now they were both uh, built at the same time uh, using some Forge World parts. And they're magnetized, so if I can slide this. And then uh, I made a claw arm for this guy. So he had the belly gun. He's got the gaze of Mork, the Forge World head. He used to have a custom force field up in the top here. I just pulled some spikes off trying to turn them. He's got nothing on his back. Arm. Now this one had the upgrade, I can't remember what it's called offhand, but it had more guns and more shots than you could believe. So I put more guns on it. Lots of Forge World guns. 
he had the normal chain sword arm magnetized. Work. Cap of all the stuff. Couldn't find the uh, DACA jet pilot. I'm sure he's in here somewhere. I just must have missed him. Three trucks. Boys, commandos, shooter boys, grots, more bikers, not bikers, mega knobs, big shooters, tank busters, knobs, burners, battle wagons, stompers, battle wagons, death cops, storm boys, shooter boys, bikers, looters. Cannons and all the broken pieces. All the death dreads, kilocons are all broken. I've got some stuff to fix, but I think I've got enough to start playing again. <laughs>